This is Holy Cross uh, component 2 mock and this is uh, mock number 2. And we're on to our last, last question 8, uh, which is the essay question on beta thalassemia. And lots of, lots of information here and the essential difference is between the two you know, healthy and effective individuals we've got a mutation and we've got a single a single base change and we detect that using a DNA probe which is um, complementary to complementary to the DNA uh, of the individual so it'll it'll bind if it finds complementary base pairs or it won't bind if it doesn't so you can use these two to identify whether any particular base pairs are there and what they're doing is they're doing electrophoresis and then testing um, the relevant band with a probe for a probe for uh, normal DNA and a probe for the affected DNA so that's essentially what they're what they're doing there and what do we need to do we need to explain the principles of electrophoresis. We need to use the information provided to explain why two probes are needed on one region of the gel. We need to what probability the couple's next child will have the disease and then well tell us about this mutation how could it result in a different protein so there's four things there but probably the, the first two could be put together and again I'm not going to write this write all this out but just give you the, the sort of principles so again I think earlier on in this uh, we, we've talked about gel electrophoresis. So, the the question about gel electrophoresis you know, for you know, cutting DNA and uh, using enzymes uh, restriction endonuclease. Talking about the gel, you know, the electricity fragments you know moving towards the positive because they are negative because you know DNA is uh, negative you know small fragments uh, move further and so so that's that's kind of a cloud and then use the information to provide to explain why two probes are needed well if you are producing you know, DNA bands and they've identified that the relevant gene is in one of these bands and they need to test it but they, they have a probe for the normal and a probe for the you know the DNA that's been uh, changed so why would they need to use them in the same place? Because it's the same gene, and as it's a single base pair change, then it's actually the same length of DNA. So the same length of DNA in the same place, but the DNA will be slightly different. So two probes needed. So two probes, you know, one for normal DNA type, and one for beta thalassemia why the same place so same place as it's the same it's the same kind of gene you know length you know it's just got a one base difference so same length so it'll travel the same distance up in the up in the gel
Uh, probability of the next couple's child having beta thalassemia and what do we know about about these? Well, if the parents are uh, unaffected, so it's a recessive allele, there we go, it's a recessive allele and the father and the mother both have the normal allele and they have the recessive allele. So we're using this information. So uh, both father and mother are heterozygous. Not that I can spell it. Yeah, they've got a band for both alleles. So this filter paper shows bands for both alleles. So they've got the normal and the uh, thalassemia. And when you when you put that into a when you put that into a cross, does it tell us yeah it's got a these are heterozygous, so they are both that, so they, that's the cross, big T, little t, big T, little t, and we have got, this is our um, affected individual. So what is the chance? Uh, that's one out of four chance from our Punnett square. So a quarter of the offspring would have this double recessive. They would be homozygous for the affected allele. So quarter chance or 25% chance. So that would be a cloud. And then uh, how a single base pair in the allele results in a different protein. Hopefully you're recognizing this, this sort of question. So talking about proteins. So we've got the, the base change on DNA. That will lead to a change in the messenger RNA codon. And so you know, that will, you know, bind uh, to, to a different tRNA anticodon. So possibly a different amino acid is put onto our, our growing polypeptide chain. And so how would this affect the protein? So might be a different R group on the you know different amino acids, so a different R group. So it might affect the folding of the tertiary structure of a protein. And that usually affects the, the function. So for example, an enzyme might have a different active site shape. So um, different shape um, affects the function of the protein. So that would be our kind of a final, final cloud. So lots of stuff that you should recognize and be able to tell, but the skill is identifying these areas that you need to talk about and, and soaking up the, the information and putting the relevant bits of information into your essay for nine marks. Well done.